I'm starting to feel like I start off all these videos with blue steel. Like, I'm just staring at the camera. Yeah, it's just a little weird. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, felt... don't blame me because I'm really, really ridiculously good looking. I don't know about that. We both have really big teeth. According to YouTube commenters. Yeah, but I work mine. Yeah, you do. <laughs> What's going on, guys? We're the Cine Fanatics. My name is Chris Adams. And I'm Robert Adams. And we and our silly butts are here to react to the Schmodown again. This time it is a stipulation match between John Harris and a former Ecuadorian pole vaulter named Jete. I believe you mean JTE is what he commonly goes, goes by now. Josh Tapia? Yes. Yes. JTE. I say JTE because I've been watching the earlier seasons of the Schmodown just to kind of see where it's come from again. Man, has this thing come a long way in just a short amount of time, too. Mm-hmm. Actually, very impressive. Yeah, I, I mean, just real quick off the topic, I love the Schmodown. I think this is a fantastic program. Christian and Mark have done a good job of providing a great product for the masses. Yep. And, yeah. Anyways... That's my, I love it. Yeah, and we love it so much, we're a part of the Patreon subscription, which is why we get to record and film this early. You should definitely jump on there if you haven't already. I mean, some of you watching this probably already are on the Patreon. Good for you. If you're not, jump on there. I know Christian said today that he uh, is looking to want to go the next step and actually build their own, build out their own studio space at some point. That's a huge thing, especially with LA costs. Yeah. So... They need your help. And those of us that are on, like, say, this side of the camera, we know, or we have a kind of a ballpark idea of the costs involved in creating that kind of a setup. <laughs> it ain't cheap. <laughs> nope. Mm -mm. So, yeah, I mean, this match today, this is actually a really interesting match. I am actually very much looking forward to this as soon as they dropped that cutscene last week. Uh, the stipulation is surrounding JTE's return back to the Schmodown and he should have been teamed up with uh, Lon yes with Lon Harris the entire time mm -hmm. Again, see I'm confusing myself with Lon and John during the anarchy match JTE was paired with Lon Harris to create the evil geniuses yeah they played one match but due to the accident that J JTE was involved in, he had to pull out for the rest of the matches. In which case, JTE was replaced by Lon's brother, John. John yeah, Harris. Yeah. That, is, that is very confusing. Yeah. So Lon you were, and John. You were there too. So the stipulation around this match right now is that JTE wants to re-team with Lon Harris, but he's still teamed up with his brother, Jonathan. So Emma has put forth the stipulation of if JTE wants to return, he has to face... Jonathan Harris beat him and then the evil geniuses can reform with Jonathan Harris as their manager however if Jonathan Harris wins it stays the Harris brothers and Jonathan Harris gets to find JTE a new teammate I heard Stacy Howard is potentially in the market for a new teammate hey you know what as as fun as that would be I kind of actually would like to see JTE on corruption just because corruption feels like the revived lion's den so to yeah. speak so maybe I mean I could I could see that, but uh, we should believe that Stacy's partner has already been chosen at this mm -hmm. point, and I don't think that JTE is the one who's been chosen. That might be a little weird story wise as well. Yeah, there might be some time traveling. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, much like the supposed story plot of Avengers Endgame. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm very interested in this. Uh, question on the table: Who you got? I, I'm. I mean. Jonathan Harris has been doing a fantastic job, and John and Lon are a fantastic team. JTE is just awesome, though. Uh, he's been around for quite a few years working with both Collider and Screen Junkies. He may have amassed quite a bit of movie knowledge. Yep. So, therefore, I'm probably going to go with JTE. I, I would also. I mean, JTE is proven to be a powerhouse competitor i mean the fact that he's still part of the greatest team of all time and i'm saying that that's my opinion the patriots are still the greatest team of all time until the shire wolves hit, hit and beat their record mm -hmm. which is very possible yeah so i mean you, you're looking at the longest running team champs in the patriots so you have jte there he's also 
made a pretty solid run in the free for all that just aired not too long ago. Mm-hmm. Um, so I mean, you have you you have somebody who you know there was the talk of ring rust. We even brought that up. Yeah, his there's, his ring rust is not there. I don't think there's ring rust on JTE. He's done a couple exhibitions also that he's fared pretty decently in. Mm-hmm. So I mean, y- you know, I, I I think I think I gotta give it to JTE on this one. Yeah, yeah, I believe he'll he'll be fine, and hopefully we'll end up with another Geppetto or Jubear or something. Because <laughs> <laughs> the good old Jubear. Yeah, that was so funny. Welmo del Toro. Yeah. By Senator Ceteratops. Yeah, I have no idea how he pronounced that either. How he managed to get those syllables out of his I say, mouth. I say it differently every time. Well, yeah. I, I think he does too. <laughs> I th- honestly, I think everybody does. <laughs> either way, you know you're going to get something entertaining with JTE while he's dominating. So let's go ahead and watch and see if we're correct. Yep. The Outlaw. Bateman. Good job. Ooh. Graham Bateman. I've been hearing a lot of things about you, man. A Wait, what? The wind, a chatter, a Riley action. Glasses are back on. Oral action talking you up. I gotta tell you something. I don't buy it. It's a good superpower. I don't buy this change that's supposedly happening. I don't think I forgot that you sicked your dog on me and tackled me in one of our matches. You can't even take your sunglasses off to look at me. Give me the respect I deserve as a two time champ. John, here's the thing. I, uh,. I don't need the horseman, okay? I don't, I don't want the horseman. It's no disrespect. You or your guys, obviously very close to Riley. You know, I'm happy about that. But yeah. doing my own thing. I'm focused on winning a title. And the only thing you and I have in common is that Andrew Guy is our enemy. And all I want to do is destroy that fool. Now, does that make us allies, John? I don't think so. So we are fighting on the same side of this war. I think it does, brother. So I'll see you out there. Enemy of my enemy is my friend. Damn. Something like that. I just, I, I need to make sure that I can find a pair of Bateman sunglasses though, because those things are magic. You can take them off your face and they're still there. <laughs> What's that gift? <laughs> yeah, dude constantly taking the sunglasses off. <laughs> we, we poke fun, we, we love, we love you guys. We love you guys. Finals uh, of the of the tournament of anarchy and and had a shot at the number one contender shot this year and yep. had good success so far in teams. Absolutely, he was called out mm-hmm. by a man that you're very familiar with. Yeah, I am too. One by the name of the littlest of evils. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. J T. His return. The famed Ecuadorian film reviewer is returning to the game, and he left with an injury that is not related to the game. Or was it? Can you tell me that one of the Harris brothers didn't push him off that scooter? Well, I can tell. At this point, I cannot confirm that. I want someone from TriviaSD.com to write that article. I'm telling you. I'm telling I love you right what now, like the real life of what, what happens to these people scene. on a personal you level make it. Lon and John <laughs> into about this. Getting themselves back to the yeah. title picture, and then from off of camera you hear over my dead almost body and it was jt <laughs> he, in there and he has a challenge emma fight presents is enough of this here's what's going to happen here's the stipulations today if jte oh, look more people Jonathan standing Harris, in the corner the shouting at each other will reform and go back to one and oh that's probably one of my However, favorite Ed, lines Jonathan actually harris will then become the manager however if Jonathan Harris wins today and beats JTE, he gets to pick JTE's teammate for the remainder of the season, and that could be bad news for JTE. This is uh, just as many choices at a Panera menu. Pick one, pick two, pick three. I love all these options in front of us here. There is a lot of pressure on both I don't go to Panera enough match. to get that Army, reference, but JTE I'm guessing it's Harris funny. For that first match, the yeah. Geniuses looked scary. Yeah, they have a large menu. You can pick bad. different options. And everyone oh. they were making them. I oh. picked them to win Good the thing you were here to explain that. But... JTE decides that he wants to ride things without helmets. And because of that, it took him out of the season. 
It took him out of the season, and now he's back. And I don't know if it's just like Mr. Mime and the Detective Pikachu trailer. Had a lot. I Should mean, have worn that helmet. To talk about with each other. Here we go. Brand new squad called the Evil Geniuses. I am excited. These two together, it's it's like a vacuum at a bus station. I don't know how it's gonna work. Hey, I really feel like we have a chance to go to the top. I feel like we got a chance to win title here and maybe hold it for more than a year and a half. Maybe not the most natural team up I've ever seen, but that's not what Anarchy is all about, and they're proving it so far in the tournament. At last I heard, it was JTE and Lon Harris. Well, that got thrown out the window when JTE got himself on one of those stupid bird scooters. He got injured from it. Lon Harris reaches out and gets his brother, another professor, <laughs> to go ahead and compete, hence the Harris brothers. <laughs> the scooters are fun, by the way. But this isn't a very good advertisement for them. <laughs> not a product placement. Not at all. It's like an anti-product placement. This is not a sponsored video by Bird Scooters. We are going to come back. We are going to get over those illegitimate titles, and those titles will be ours. Indeed. Over my almost dead body. What? How long have you been standing there? Literally, I gave you a pathway to the title. We would have won that thing easily. I'm here goodness. to challenge you to a match. I understand that there is a little bit of an argument as to who should be Lon Harris's partner in the Schmodown going Indeed. forward. I understand JTE. I want to challenge this guy, and I want to take him out of this league, and I want to go on the run that we're supposed to go on and win those titles. I'll work it out with Sam mm -hmm. for you guys to play one another. If you win, JTE, mm. then the Evil Geniuses will be a team again. You'll revert to your original record of 1-0. Oh, delightful. Jonathan will continue in this league as your manager. If Jonathan does win, since JT, you are so confident that that will not happen, Jonathan will get to choose your partner for the remainder of the showdown season. I'm not even worried about that because it's not going to happen. Aren't you a pair of bobless lenders? Delightful. I don't know what either of you are saying. <laughs> Nice. It's a good shot. I'm back. I was in my hospital struggling to learn how to walk again over a month ago, and the Patriots won in our Super Bowl. And immediately, I walked out of my wheelchair, and I went directly to the Schmodown Commissioner, whoever it is these days. And I was like, get me back in here, because I've been watching out on my TV. These guys called the Evil Geniuses, we were ready to win the title. We were on our way. We were 1-0. It wasn't even a challenge. Then all of a sudden, I see they replaced me with this brother, Jonathan Harris. The guy doesn't know what he's talking about. This fool, this braggart, this know-it-all imbecile, JTE, probably stands for just tepid engagement with cinema. I am boiling, I am JBE, <laughs> just boiling engagement with cinema. As I sit here, I'm not even fully 100%. I still have a cracked tooth, okay? But you know what? That's not going to stop me because I could not sit by and watch somebody so talented as Lon Harris being dragged down by his brother. Maybe his parents called him and said, listen, you got to let your brother play. But he's just not up to snuff. The Harris brothers... I know how that feels. Together, perhaps Nobody called you to tell you but no, anything. We are together hmm. for the In fact, I called you to tell you to run this YouTube match. channel with me. <laughs> Sorry, Mama wasn't gonna going to let, you let him know, but here and take what is rightfully ours, mine and my brothers. Just like All right, you're fired. Jones in the last crusade, except <laughs> that was him and his father. How that gets played. The Nazis, I'm that edits these videos. <laughs> I'll just put myself situation. back in it. <laughs> I think all the good genes went to Lon Harris, and the Danny DeVito genes went. Fortunately, our last photo reaction will Does be our JTE's last. Does <laughs> knowledge scare me at all? Uh, if knowing all of the characters on the Disney Afternoon's Tailspin scares me, then then sure, I'm shaking in my little cartoon boots. Oh, you might know a few things about the Muppet Babies, sir. Oh yeah, constant ID. Sorry. You are going up against a, a titan of cinematic knowledge here, and you want me to manage you? No, no, no. I'm going to win this match, and I'm going to pair you with the little girl who played Curly Sue. Not who she is today, the little girl. John Harris, listen, man. Because she's actually a good singer nowadays. She was on Choice. She was on, like, The Voice or America's Got Talent or something. No, The Voice. That's right, she won. And it's time for us to go in here and kick some ass. John Harris, you are going down. You are going up against two men with names, Lon Harris and Jonathan Harris. Our parents bestowed us with full names, not just initials. Sir, you have swung on your last bird.
if you put me on a tricycle and have me wheel down the street, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Barb Jeffs kept coming. I mean, they both do not like each other. So the interesting thing is that if JT That's does a good one. today and Jonathan That's a good one. becomes the manager, you're going to see trash that talk right there. It's a good one. Somebody, you're going to see JT paired with somebody that is, I mean... I don't know. I should get, I get, he'd probably pair him with my daughter for all I know. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I, I love when JT gets fired up. It's like when you tell him that the Rocky franchise is, is be, be, below Fast and the Furious on rankings list. He gets yes, a man. fire in Ooh. his eyes. Uh, he looks he looks um, excited to return and, and really kind of get back to where he was. Well, I am excited for this as well. And, guys, make sure. Look, a lot of live events happening. The SchmodownLive.com. Get those tickets for April. And in Houston, Andrew Guy versus Ben Bay at the Booker T Arena May 18th. Get your tickets to SchmodownLive.com and don't forget any one of these shows you can listen to on audio. Himalaya. Go there. Go to the bottom here. You can go to Apple Podcasts. Leave a comment. Do the review. Test your friends out. You want to say, how do I introduce my friends to the Schmodown? Put it on in the car. Listen, we have the entire Season 1 catalog. That's up there now. Season 2 will be coming. 3, 4, they'll all be up there. Test your friends. Get them hooked on the Schmoda. Test your friends. That seems like a good way to get through life. That's right. All right. Ken, bad blood is there. And Maybe. We do notable I mean, it's how I know my position with my friends. Competitors. And first, you got Jonathan Harris was nominated for Rookie of the Year last year. He also <laughs> Roy. was a team <laughs> finalist and was also part of the number one contender match this year. Good start of a season. For Which team Harris. was Team Roy? Yeah. JTE. He was the 2000. Do they have a goat on their team? Ultimate Schmodown finalist. These acronyms he are about as bad as the military. Singles championship. He won the tournament back in 2000. Excuse me. He was a finalist in 2000. Okay. I was in the military. Yeah. Oh, that's right. And he is the longest I know acronyms. team champion of all time over a year and a half with his former partner Jeff Snyder. And that was quite a reign. Whether you liked him or not, you had to pay the respects. A lot of notable accomplishments, Christian. I, I think I'm ready to get into this. Well, if that's the case, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmoda. <laughs> Introducing first, representing the Harris Brothers, he is the 2018 Rookie of the Year nominee. He's throwing jabs right now using this music. I just want to go for a run. I don't even want to react to this anymore. I just want to go run around the block or whatever. Just oh, okay, later. See ya. I'm not going to. I mean, we got stuff to do tonight. But I mean, wait, John, Jonathan Harris is the one that came out to that song. It definitely confused me. Yeah, he's doing laps. He is wearing What's JT here the Harris Brothers? Yeah, he's wearing an Eagles jersey. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Jonathan Harris. All right. Yeah. Now JT's going to come out to the shipping up to Boston. Here too. There's no yeah. favoritism here. Sure. Absolutely. I can I can take Lawn Harris has never seen a professional sport event on television. He's not sure what Jonathan's wearing right now. All right. And his opponent. There. Wow. Classic. He is the 2017 Ultimate Schmodown Singles Finalist and the former Movie Trivia Schmodown Team Champion making his return to the ring. The record of 89, Little Evil J. <laughs> six defenses, six wins for the Patriots. JT's getting a lot of love here. A lot of love. For, wow, that's wow. crazy. Look at the last people. time you saw JT. Look at, look at JT mean marketing. Wow. Jonathan Harris get that. JTE is back. He looks like a street fighter going into round four of a competition against Jean-Claude Van Damme. Oh, it's going to be, want some cookies? Do you want some milk? Uh, you know, yeah. JTE, I, I can't go get I said yes. I said yes. Oh, she's <laughs> shot. She's <laughs> shot, dude. I, I don't believe for a second you watch football. You wouldn't know football from a coconut. <laughs> I know how to bang the empty halves of a football together, sir. Nice. So these two coconuts are ready to get going, and so am I. That was something else. It's a great lead-up. Everything I wanted it to be. All right, Ken, round number one. Here's how it goes. The I'm ready to get going. How about you? I'm ready to go, sir. JT, are you ready? Let's do it. 
Jonathan, you ready? Oh, I'm prepared. Then let's get ready to schmoda! <laughs> All right, here we go, gentlemen. Here we go. Category of comedies. Comedies. Who played the <laughs> bumbling Otto West in A Fish Called Wanda? Why do I never remember anything about this movie? Coconuts are, are used to make Hershey kisses. Within seconds, they gave us a gem. Yeah. Have you seen it? Nuts. Five, four, three, two. That might that. be the first well, issue. I don't even remember that. Kevin Klein? Correct. Wow. And Jonathan. Kevin Klein. There you That's go. Tie game. <laughs> John Cleese, I've never seen question it either. Number two, <laughs> question number two comes in the category of biopics. Biopics. Who stars as the titular Texas-born T. Hano singer in the 1997 biopic Selena? We're from Texas. We know this answer. Uh, no, but uh, kind of the same <laughs> Selena's on our HEB grocery Five, bags. Ten. They don't know what HEB Four. is. It's a the Three, best grocery store known two, to man. There you go. One, Jonathan. I guess Edward James Olmos. Uh, as, as Selena? That is incorrect. Uh, uh, Jennifer Lopez? That's, that's correct. correct. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. J Lo. Bitty bitty bum bum. The titular. That is wow. the best the answer I've ever, ever, ever seen. Um, that was a great performance by Edward James Olmos, movie. let me say. Uh, it was a fantastic he really, Selena. really disappeared Which in that role. Which 2017 film follows a single man raising his child prodigy niece as a normal kid, but is drawn into a custody battle with oh, his mother. Oh, what was that called? What was that called? Can you repeat the question, please? Yeah. What 2017 film follows a single man raising his child prodigy niece as a normal kid? But is drawn into a custody battle with his mother. I think I think no, I, I think I know this. Kid. I, no, I know. I know. I don't him. have. The, I don't know if I have the title right, but I know I'm thinking the right movie. Three, two, one. JTE. Is a guess. Gifted. That's correct. No. 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 Did Did I was thinking it was called Caring. I put the gift. But we were thinking the yeah, the Chris Evans, Evans yes. Yes. Three, one, so movie. Next I put the can. gift. It's gifted. Category is action adventure. Action slash adventure. Who plays Dr. Stephen Maturin in 2003's Master and Commander: The Far Side of the World? Well, I only know so, one person who's uh, in the movie. No, so. no, but it does sound like a good wrestling main event. It does. You know? Five. Four, three, so, I mean, two. I, mean, I one guess the one person who's in it. Paul Bettany. That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Paul Russell Crowe. Oh, so there was a boat. Russell Crowe. There you go. Okay, so we are now. At only I knew it wasn't Russell Crowe. He didn't strike me as the doctor type. Next question. Is he strike you as a singer? Is from fantasy sci-fi. Really? Sci I've seen Les Mis. Which 2018 film starred Naomi oh. Scott, R.J. Seiler, or Seiler, excuse me? Brian Cranston and Elizabeth Banks. Wait. Yeah, the first two are kind of a throw off. You're not going to know them. The, just focus on the last two and you might get it. Four. Can okay, I get a repeat? That's your first one, yep. JT uses Which a JT. 2018 film starred Naomi Scott, RJ Seiler, Brian Cranston. Naomi Scott is playing Banks. Jasmine in the Aladdin movie. Yes, I know who Naomi Scott is. I'm part of a channel called Cinefanatics. Scrambling now. Four. Three, that being said, I don't know. Two, I can't remember what this movie is. One and JT. Wait, oh, got it. It is. It's correct. Hey, Jonathan. I thought this was a good guess. Power Rangers. An anthology show on Amazon. <laughs> nope. That'd be Power Rangers. Oh, oh, I got it as soon as he said. Six Time's up. Six question comes in the category of animated. Animated. What kind of animal attacks the villainous Hopper the Grasshopper at the end of A Bug's Life? I saw that in theaters when I used to watch movies. Is that? That's not yeah. true. Yeah, that's Brian Cranston. Five, four. It's a Power Ranger. Three, yeah. two, one. Jonathan. Sword on. Is this a jab at JTE? It's a bird? <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well played, sir. Awesome. That's good. That's correct. That's correct. That is correct. Right, that so, is correct. Sorry. They're waiting for me to say that's correct. That's correct. Sorry. This is very funny. Uh, JT. <laughs> I don't believe that was an accident. Bird. <laughs> it's a bird. Right. That was a ladybug. I know what it was. Right, I don't that's remember good. the end of that movie. He got right. eaten. Next one. Horror slash thriller. Who starred as Rick, Lou's experienced assistant in the film Nightcrawler? I'm trying to remember I don't know anyone else in that movie other than the lead guy. 
I'm Three, taking a wild stab in the dark. Two. One. Pens down and JTE. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Ahmad Razin. There it is. What? What does that say? I'm there it is. is. I, don't know, I don't know his name. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I think he actually might have had it on the correctly. I, 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 I think I got a little closer. Riz Ahmed. Uh, well. okay. you actually, he has Riz Ahmed. Riz Ahmed. He did say he said he said it right. Got it right. Ahmed. Got it right. We'll accept that. That is correct. Okay. Right. So now Jonathan. Jonathan has now come within one. I said Paul Dano. As we get. I said blank. <laughs> I had completely avoided question. any and of that. Question <laughs> is a Patreon question. <laughs> Join the Patreon today. That's right, patreon.com slash Well, That's there was no I got Jew Bear. Michael yeah. Campbell. Thank you, Michael, for your support here of the movie. Good Jew job, Mr. Campbell. We like your soup. Is 90s movies. Well, they 90s do it to Andy Schick. Who plays good-hearted Ben, the man who decides to adopt the um, problem child in the film Problem yes. Child? Ben! <laughs> I have no idea. <sighs> I just hurt my throat doing that. I'm okay. Two. One pens down and Jonathan. John Ritter. That's right. The late great John Ritter. John Ritter. Okay, that would be John Ritter. Uh, John Ritter. This battle is still continuing. Not an easy lead here by JTE by any stretch of imagination. Okay. I'm One feeling no. Years, we get into round number two. And round number two works like this. The competitors, Jonathan Harris, has used one as well. And JTE has a one point lead. So JTE, JTE you has have used an opportunity himself. To either spin first or second, your choice. I will spin first. first, spin first. On YouTube? Can you do that? Today, the Today's match is sponsored by our Shmodown patron, Justin Roby. Justin Roby, sponsored on patreon.com slash Modan. Thank you, Mr. Roby. I like your house and coats. Drew Barrymore. That's All right, JTE, um, really, spin really a stretch. Takes. Thank you, my friend. And there's a spin by JTE. Returning to the ring here. So far, so good. You only missed two questions. It's like in that first saying round. Some, someone likes our uh, movie round round trailer that was released so recently. We, we see ourselves in an interesting position here. Uh -oh. That Look we may have done a reaction to. This. This. Oh, oh, he's taking action adventure. Action adventure. Oh, there you go. Action adventure. JTE Four questions for there JTE. You go. With action adventure, JTE. <clears throat> All right, JTE, here we go. You got four questions in the realm of action adventure. Here's your first one. Who plays Brian Mills' ex-wife in The Taken from uh, Tom K. Johnson. Yep. I know her name. I'm going to try to pronounce oh, it. Oh, no. Sam Key uh, Jensen? We're going to accept We're that. Accept I think he did that on purpose. <laughs> Like he knows the right answer, he's just purposely. Smith. Give me a break. I, I don't know. That's a hard. Go, that could be a hard name if you don't hear it that often. Under siege, the battleship that was hijacked shares its name with which state? Is that Pennsylvania. Oh God. The USS Pennsylvania, I think. Montana. Is it A. Missouri, B. Montana, what? C. Mississippi? I'm completely D, wrong, Michigan. and you might be right. I don't think I'm right. I was just guessing. Just, it's uh, a I'm Steven joking. Seagal Can movie. I mean, come on. Yep. A. Missouri. B. Montana. C. Mississippi. D. Michigan. Michigan. Mississippi. It's incorrect. Steel. Steel. Missouri. That's correct. That's correct. One point. One point. Dude, if that turned out to be Montana, right, I would have. I would have been an action adventure. Who directed 1998's The Mask of Zorro? Oh, I know who started Martin it. Martin Campbell. That's correct. So okay. That's, right. that's correct. Oh yeah. All right, here you go. Forgot about. Someone who went on to and go do uh, Green Lantern. Lantern. We don't speak about that. In anyway. Furious oh, yeah. Seven, Dom and his crew have to obtain the flash drive that contains the God's Eye in which Dubai. Middle Eastern capital yeah. city. Dubai. It's incorrect. Hmm. Tel Aviv. Multiple choice. Nope. <laughs> no. Uh, Azerbaijan. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. The favorite mailing place of Normal the Cat by Garfield the Cat. And now Jonathan is going to spin the wheel from the wheel, of course, and not the pegs. Otherwise, he'd be thrown out of the studio. So we're going to be going to Apparently, Abu Dhabi is full of cats. There's the spin. All right, there's the spin. That's where everyone mails their cute cats. I'll go down and get some pegs. We're trying. Okay. Skaliski keeps telling me we're going to get a new one. Come on, Skaliski. And we land on 
Pixar, film. Pixar movies. He is going to okay. I'm starting to think, to think that Ken right. actually thinks that Chris Kowalski's name is Kowalski. Right. Four questions coming down <laughs> in this category here for Jonathan. Pixar films. Chance oh. Ellison's upset that this came up because <laughs> right now these are questions that he I don't know if I should laugh at that or be worried. <laughs> first of four, Jonathan, first of four. Remember, you do have multiple choice. What was the name of the human boy in The Good oh, gosh. Dinosaur? Multiple choice. A, Spot, B, Rex, C, Spike, D, I think it was Stinky. Spike. I think it's Spot. Uh, spot. That is correct for One a point. point. For go. a point. All right, Ding. question two. In The Incredibles, hero costume designer capes. Edna Mode never includes what? In no, her capes. Costume design? no capes. No capes. That's correct for two points. Oh, there you go. All right. Uh, third question. What was the name of the fraternity of misfits that Mike joins in Ooh. Monsters University? Alpha Kappa Alpha Beta Jones. U. A. Roar Omega Roar. B. Uzma Kappa. C. Omega Hal. D. <laughs> Lambda Lambda Lambda. <laughs> roar Omega Roar. That is incorrect. JT for steel. Can you repeat all the choice? A, or a I think it's Uzma Omega Kappa. War, B, Uzma Kappa. C, Omega Hal. D, Lambda, Lambda, Lambda. I'll go B. That's correct for right. a yeah. point. Oh, oh, the right the, the tri-lambs. Right, last question. <laughs> Here we go. Lloyd Cher replaced which legendary comedian as Fillmore in Cars 2? Oh. Multiple choice. A. Woody Allen. B. George Carlin. C. Dom DeLuise. D. Alan Rickman. George Carlin. George Carlin. That's correct for a One point. point. All right. Wow. This is George a Carlin game was in the One first cars. Point lead by JTE. Now the third round wow. could be anybody's game. JTE has had some disastrous third rounds. He's also had some very good third rounds in the past. This is new for Jonathan Harris. This is his first singles match. All right. So round number three is going to work like this. With that being said. JTE, you have a one point lead. Please pick three numbers from 1 to 20. Uh, 6, 12, 13. 6, 12, and 13 for the littlest of evils. And Jonathan? 9, 10, 11. 9, 10, 11 for Jonathan Harris. And we begin with Jonathan Harris, Ken, uh, category number nine. Absolutely. Number nine, number nine, number nine. Uh, it is in the category of nine? rom-coms, rom-coms, where love Eight. and laughter meet. Here we go. A two-point question. Like That's, right. That's right. Nine. Who stars as Holden McNeil, a comic book artist ben Affleck. in love with a lesbian in 1997's Chasing Amy? Ben Affleck. That's correct for two points. This is a good movie. All right, we bounce back to JTU, chose category number six. That's mm -hmm. comic book movies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who stars as Nancy, an exotic dancer, appearing uh, in just multiple storylines yes. in 2005's Sin City? Oh, God, how do you pronounce her name? No, Jessica That's Alba. That's the question. Oh, no, wait. Jessica Alba. Correct. That is Ooh. Correct. And it's pronounced, Ooh. it's pronounced Jessica. 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 <laughs> I don't think Jessica. I believe you said Jessica. Yes. Jessica. All right, so JT. Oh, JT. Yeah, now we go to category number 10 <laughs> for Jessica. All right, John, your category is 80s. Three-point question coming in to take the lead. Working Girl stars Melanie Griffith as Tess McGill, who plays her love interest, Jack oh, Harrison Ford. Yep. Harrison Ford. That is three correct. Points. Three points All to right. take the lead. All right. Ooh, so this is back Harris and forth. Now has taken a two-point lead. Good match. To now bounce it back to Jonathan Harris. This is a very close this matchup. Is a and close now match. we got number 12. That's what you want for your stipulations. Directors. Directors. Number 12. 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 Oh no! Please don't tell me. What? Yes, I'm gonna pronounce this the best I can. Oh yeah. Uh, Guillermo del Toro. Yes, he did. Really? Well done, so fancy really? So, JT. All right, now we bounce back to Jonathan Harris. Good old Guelmo Del Toro. Jonathan Harris has to hit the five. If he hits <laughs> the five, if he hits the Classic. five, it bounces back to JT and allows JTE a chance to try to win the game. However, if he misses, the evil geniuses will once again be a thing, and Jonathan Harris will become the team's manager, but that's only if he misses. Let's see. All right, you chose number 11, Jonathan, for your final five-point question. The category is animated, animated movies. Ooh. All right. 
What 1986 animated film <laughs> features the original song by Weird Al Yankovic Dare titled stupid. Dare to be Stupid? That'd be Transformers the movie. Sorry to put it back onto JT. You've there. got the. <laughs> You've got Five, the touch. Four, three, two. An American Tale. And oh, your oh, winner, oh, Guelmo oh, Del Toro. Oh, sorry. Ooh. <laughs> He's got a manager now. Transformers the movie, Dare to be Stupid. Transformers the movie, but... Dare to be Stupid. Jonathan Harris played a very, very tough game, making JTE sweat. Making JTE sweat, JTE returns, gets the victory, and just like That's that, a... the Harris brothers, no a good match. We now yeah. have the evil geniuses back, but JT really had to fight for that. That was a he good question at the end. He uh, didn't get that final question, but it was a close one, 16-15, and... Uh, Wow, uh, he's back though. Little Evil is back. Guemo Del Toro. It was, a <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And, a rom and what do you call him? The Ahmed of Ariz. I don't know what he called him, but the poor guy had to change his name after that one. So now we're going to talk to <laughs> Jen Sturger, who's actually going to be backstage with the evil geniuses and their manager, Jonathan Harris. Well, thanks, Christian. Um, th this is awkward. Uh, so I'm here with the Evil Geniuses and their new manager, uh, Jonathan Harris. Thank um, you. Happy to be part of the team. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely an odd dynamic we've got going on back here. Uh, JT, welcome back. It's great to see. Uh, no, there's a mic right there. I won. Okay. I won. We're going to really have to discuss some things. Uh, how about how about you yeah, and I switch? Well, sure. but what did you just say? I'm sorry. You have to speak into the mic. I said now I am going to have to have some real disciplinary blah, issues blah, blah, with the blah, person blah, who blah, I am blah, now blah, managing. Blah, blah, blah. So well, as your listen, new manager, come on. A productive partnership, gentlemen, is a harmonious partnership. Jonathan, with your years in a classroom, I, I suspect you you know this already. We. I have a lot of experience quieting down little brats. Mm. Oh, Lon, I feel like you're on The Bachelor and you're on a really awkward two-on-one date right now. I feel like that's what's happening. I, I, I feel like I am on a uh, an academic board and I am being divided between two people who want a leadership position on that board and I'm just trying to have a productive board session. Sure, my analogy was a little more relatable, but okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> I mean, how is this supposed to work, guys? JT, how's like this I was supposed saying, to work? It, it's great to have you back. Yeah, thank you. Uh, obviously, you know you're you're looking great. You're you're feeling well, better. You. You've not worked on your pronunciation, but that's fine. We let certain things pass around mm -hmm. here. Um, he has a little Elmo Del Toro doll that he carries around with him. Uh, so tickle me, it Elmo. Is pronounced it's going to be the hit of the Christmas Elmo. season, guys. So mark my oh words. Oh my god. But guys, how is this supposed to work? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, obviously, I'm going to say I have work? to be drinking he if they think that... do anything. Well, I mean, it's going to be just like the Beatles in hell. We're all going to live in a big fun house, or the monkeys, if you prefer, and uh, JTE's Ringo. Okay, I don't know what John the you're talking Paul, about. Both Ringo. fine examples uh, of the period. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm praying for mine right now. Uh, hard Day's Night, the monkeys' head. Be less painful. Finer, psychedelic head films of the 1960s. You know, a, a little psychedelics might chill JT out a little oh, bit. Richard, the great works of Richard Lester, Petunia. Speaking do, of psychedelics, do let's just share. Stop? Do, do, what no, is happening? It this could not have gone any better. This is a typical interview, Listen, by the way. <laughs> he's not going to be a manager. He's little. You want your little brother to hang around while we go ahead and win this championship again? That's fine. That's what's going to happen. He'll stick around. We'll throw him over there with, like, you. Uh, I don't know, some toys. Throw him a little Lego set or something so he can just stay over there. Let the men actually win and get the title. You guys were having a pretty impressive run, obviously, before your accident. We yeah, I was all... rusty as hell. I, I basically came in right out of the hospital. Yeah. Are you, are, that you guy? Still, are you still in, in, in recuperating, sir? Do you need more? Do you need more time to relax? Listen, as long as my insurance is gonna let me go, I'm gonna go. But this guy is just—he's not good. I—I I, I understand you. It was a little bit of a close match. I apologize that they canceled your HBO show, Crashing. What? <laughs> what, are, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, but it happened. It's, it's done. Back to you guys. <laughs> oh, I don't know how 
they're going to do that, Ken, because the whole time they were asking about the match, they were they were insulting one another, and, and Lon's going to have a lot on his hands here because if they want to go into battle with a strategy of a guy, two guys who just don't like each other now. It, it looked like my second marriage back there. A lot of infighting. They're trying to uh, work work towards the same goal, but I don't, I don't know if it's going to work out. I just don't know if that's going to work out. I don't know because the, the evil geniuses themselves are a really good team, and the fact that they're wanting to know, I think teams should be nervous that they're back. Uh, oh, absolutely. But it's I also team. think that there's something to be said about people who don't get along, and Lon's going to have a lot on his on his plate here. I, I totally agree, and, and, and a lot of Jonathan's going to have a lot on his plate to try to make this team work. Right. And also in the back of his head, thinking, "Gee, if I, I just watched the Transformers movie on VHS one more time, I would have maybe I'd be in this position with my brother." It's it's a lot at play. Here. But it also is another thing to be talked about is the fact that JTE is back in the singles division. This is his yeah. eighth victory, I believe. He is now eight and eight. If that is if that memory eight and eight or nine and nine, one right. of those things. You're right. He's nine and nine, nine and nine. JTE is now nine and nine eight? at five hundred. So I think nine. Is, like he said it in the in. Hey. Too. He, he he's calling out the wild man hey. on that rematch you know the wild man versus jte2 was a big mm -hmm. match back in the day and now they're both they're both in the crossroads of their singles career so jte is back um he, the evil geniuses are back and this was this was something and it was a very entertaining match you know what though i'll tell you what i love having jt around he's not only a great guy but he's a fun and fierce competitor and the league needs him yeah and we need you guys so make sure look here's here's the big thing i know not everybody can be part of of the Patreon. We get it. But what I would love for you guys to do is go to the Apple Podcast on the Movie Trivia Schmodown, and I'm going to do a special promotion here for everybody. So if you go and you leave us, leave us a review on the comment section, put SD review, put hashtag SD review, then I, I will pick out one of those comments and whatever you say about it, and I'll pick one out, and you will get an opportunity to have free VIP tickets at a live event when we finally get to wow. somewhere near you. That How is about that? big time. Yeah. So there you go. Make sure you do that. Go on over there. Subscribe to that feed. That's cool Check deal. Check out TriviaSD.com. Go yeah, on over to the Patreon if you can. Join over there. Join the Facebook group. Be involved as much as you can. Leave a comment. Do the, do the likes and the shares it. and all that stuff. Ticket. And we will that's see possible. you huh. next time. Alright then. Huh? Wow, that was a, that's, that was an entertaining match. Yeah, it was. Especially there at the end, and I, who knows what was going on there in that, in that interview. That was a lot of fun though. Said it before, so I'll say it again real quick. When you're watching a football game, let's pause for a minute. Sports. When you're watching a football game and it's neck and neck on those touchdowns and basket shots, whatever they do, that's an entertaining game. You Field hate units. to see... What? Field goal units. Is that not like the hockey goal? That's not what they do in football? Anyways, uh, when they're neck and neck, that's a good game. It's when there's a blowout. You're like, all right, let's let's hurry this along. I mean, obviously <laughs> we know who's going to win. I love good example, close games. A good example of a bad game was this last Super Bowl. Ooh. A good example of a good game... This one. Yes. <laughs> so, I love close games. It's fantastic because you are on the edge of your seat. Who knows who's going to win, especially when there's a stipulation involved. Yeah, yeah I mean, that, it just, it, it's interesting because now it leads into a new dynamic of, okay, these two guys have been, like, butting heads here. Now they have to put up with each other. I have a feeling that like that exit interview that they had though was still going to go pretty much the same way no matter who won. Oh, of course. A um, little less, little less crazy because JT doesn't wouldn't have to be part of them at that point. He can just go off on his own new team, whoever he would have. Mm -hmm. But there, I mean, there you have it. Evil geniuses are back with Jonathan as their manager. I wonder who John would have uh, picked as JTE's teammate though. The world may never know, we just will, like the amount of licks out. to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. It was a commercial from yeah. way back in the day. Speaking of commercials, guys, you should get onto the Patreon for the Schmodown if you're not already. Well played. Mm -hmm. On top of that, there's other ways you can support the Schmodown also, including, like he said, those live events that are coming. We got one coming to our great state of Texas. I'm excited for that. You guys got to get on board, get your tickets to that, get your tickets to Mark Ellis' stand-up. We're doing a meet-up kind of around his stand-up for all fans. 
feel free to jump on there, ask us any questions. Uh, you got our Twitter handle, so shoot us a tweet, shoot us a message. We're on the Facebook page for the Schmodown. We're on the Discord. We're everywhere. You can easily find us. Except Snapchat. I mean, I have one of those, but it's... Other than Snapchat, you can easily find us. In fact, our home address would be 9... Uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Never mind. Not that anyone would still come to knocking on our door anyway, but... Anyway, yeah, we're doing the fan meetup, so guys, so come hang out with us. Come hang out, watch watch some stand-up from Mark Ellis that night, and just... We'll have a good time. Yeah. Did you like this match? Make sure you let them know. Go over to the Movie Trivia Schmodown YouTube channel and like, comment, and subscribe over there. Also, did you like our reaction? Make sure you let us know by hitting like and commenting down below. If you didn't like it... Also, above us is a subscribe button. There's also some videos over here off to the side that you can like and watch as well. And as always... Guillermo del Toro. Yep. Later. See ya. At no point in the shape of water did we actually learn what shape the water was in.